Hello there everybody, I'm Black and Rose, and this is not a behind the scenes, although this video might be used for behind the scenes at a later date. No, what this this is me doing just a bit a bit of reflection on on uh, events of the year. I don't know how many people are gonna watch this, but in all honesty, I wanted to do this, I'm just gonna turn that down slightly. I wanted to do this to kind of reflect on the year and to give some people a bit of context as to th uh, things that have been going on with me. So basically, and this is going to be a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a story, a story time with Black and Rose. So in the late uh, 2018, I think it was around September, November time. I had some rather rough news uh, come through because at the time, because well, let me give some context. I'm not working as things stand at the moment because I had an anxiety breakdown um, July of 2016, maybe 2017. I can't remember exactly uh, which year, they all sort of blur together at this point, but anyways. So I haven't been able to work from that time. Now, I've been sort of working my way through my savings. I've, worked, I've built up over like the 12 odd years or however long it was that I'd been working at said place. But when uh, in 2018, around perhaps July sort of time, I finally got things sorted out with the DWP, which is like the benefits people. Um, I got a doctor's certificate to state that I was unfit for working because of the issues that I had. I'd already gone through a round of therapy um, at that point. Uh, I'd like to point out that that was not provided by the NHS because the NHS took six months just to get a referral. Oh no, sorry, it wasn't even a referral. It was about a month to get uh, a phone call about it and about six to eight months before they even messaged me to say, do I still need support? <laughs> At which point I had taken it upon myself to go private and seek it out myself, pay for it myself and all that rubbish. Anyways, I'd gone through a round of therapy. I attempted to go back to work, but had an anxiety attack during an interview. Uh, that didn't work out too well, obviously. So I decided to go on benefits for a bit whilst I went through another round of therapy. I also uh, considered antidepressants but I didn't feel that at the time it was necessary. Anyways, I continued forward, I, I got my doctor's certificate, I took that to the benefits people, and they went through some interview processes and all the usual MacGuffins that they go through, and they started giving me some, uh, some allowances, so I was getting like a small amount of, um, money coming in but in September they decided that as a result of the interviews that I went to with them to get the benefits they decided that I was no longer I was not eligible for them mostly because I turned up because I wasn't a blubbering mess um, the whole time and because I was honest and but like steadfast, they decided that I didn't need it. So that triggered a bit of a breakdown and my depression hit hard, at which point I relented and decided to get uh, on antidepressants. But during, uh, and it was around at that point when I was thinking about what to do next, I discovered that a channel called Tats Top Videos that I'd been watching for years at that point actually had a Discord channel 
a, a fan Discord channel. So I, I went on there and decided to chill out with some people. And what happened around around that time is I actually got to speak one to one with Tats. Um, uh, she showed me the crew too. She offered to show people um, stuff about the crew too, and I figured, you know what, give it a go. Get a chance to talk to Tats and all that. And I made a new friend instantly that day. Like we spoke fairly frequently after that. And I became friends with Tats. Then what happened in around the later part of September slash October, or what, however it works, I forget how months work. What happened was after that is the lead gameplay recorder uh, said that they were opening up uh, for gameplay recorders. So I went at, I went and applied, and they they said that my work was uh, was very good. Like I gave them like the channel that I work that my, like my own personal channel, this one that you're watching here, and I did the interview process, which was making some videos based on very specific uh, contexts, and I made my videos. I got asked to make a third one, and then they they basically hired me on the spot. I became one of their gameplay recorders. And from that point, I've been working for them for a little over a year now. Like this has been the first full year that I've worked for them. I've made like about 70 videos for them uh, at this point. But the point of the matter is, is that when I joined them, I discovered a lot of like-minded people and I made lots of wonderful new friends, the likes of, um, I, I put on Twitter recently, like uh, Clown Prince of Crime, Neptune, uh, Dakota, the uh, lead gameplay recorder, uh, Tats herself, um, uh, Azul, the uh, uh, researcher slash advisor. Uh, I'm not going to go through like, and list everybody, because otherwise I'll be here all day. But the point of the matter is, is that I made lots of wonderful friends, and even um, later in this year, I became uh, a scriptwriter as well. So joined the scriptwriting team, uh, something I never thought I'd be able to do since when I was growing up. Um, uh, English creativity, like uh, written things, like I was never very good at that, and I always thought I would never be good at that. But then I uh, applied to help them out, and it and apparently according to them I'm good at it so I'm doing that now the point I'm getting to here is that I've been like since the year is coming to an end I've been thinking about like what's gone on over this year the new round of therapy that I started at the start of the year which I chose I elected to do myself um, has finished I've completed that and I feel like I've grown exponentially from that. The antidepressants that I was on, I've managed to get off them, and I'm quite proud of that as well. But one of the most important things is because of the people that I met on the TATS team and working with them, producing videos, editing videos, um, making scripts, but also making friends, the debates I've had, the discussions I've had, it's all helped grow my confidence from when the year started, from nothing, to where I am now as a man, well, as a man, right? I've discovered what it means to have a sense of self, to have confidence in oneself, but also to feel like that I have skills, but also that I can grow new skills, things that I never thought I could do. Over the course of this year, I've had numerous new experiences. I've met lots of new people. I've made friends with lots of new people. I've removed some people from my life that I believe needed to go from my life. I'm not going to say who they are, but more often than not, if I'm not speaking to them anymore, there's a probably a valid reason for that. I discovered who my friends are and who, 
who are the people who spend their time ghosting me. But that's that that's that's a different debate. But at the end of the day, I mean, even like going down to like cof uh, like cafes, like costas and things like that, those are things I never used to do. I never had the confidence to go to social places to try new foods, to try new things. But I've been doing all of those things. Heck, I carved up my first... Oh my, my f god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I even carved up my own... my first Christmas turkey um, this year. With everything else that went on. And honestly, that's kind of a testament to how far I've come. I feel more confident in trying things I've never done before, being more confident in stating my opinion, and even having an opinion, to ask questions of people, to, que uh, to question people in general, to learn new things, to feel like I'm learning new things. Like, these are all things that I've developed over the course of the year. Now, this isn't going to be just me sort of wanking off my ego. Right, there's another point to this as well. The other point is, is that I started this year riddled with depression, anxiety, and a sense and a sense of nothing. Like I was I I was nobody. I was nothing. I had no skills, I had no talents, I was nothing. I leave this year feeling like somebody. That I'm I'm me. I'm not saying that I'm like some famous person or some like a perfect like human being. No, of course not. But I feel like me. My confidence is returning. My ability to, uh, to do things is returning. My depression is abating. I'm now able to handle my own emotions without the need of antidepressants, without the need of a therapist. I've learned so many things about how to see life, to change my perspective on things, to think about how I used to be treated and how that was wrong, but it wasn't my fault that, that that happened. There are many things I've learned, and through that I've become stronger, wiser, and a better person. And the point behind this is that no matter how low life can get, things can turn around. Like maybe the person you wanted to date, that one guy or girl that you wanted to date, but it didn't work out, or they went with someone else. That doesn't have to be the end of your life. Yes, it hurts, but you can get through the hurt, and you can carry on with your life. You just need to find the way to move forwards. Depression as well. Whatever caused your depression, you can overcome that. You just need to find the method to do it. If your depression was caused by the loss of a loved one, you, you just you need to learn how to live on without them to continue living the life that you still have. Generally, it boils down to finding the cause of the depression and then resolving that cause. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean things work working out in the way that you want it like that that love that you had isn't just going to suddenly come back and everything's going to be better and of course people don't come back from the dead but it's not about things working out in your favor it's about learning how to move forwards with life to not be locked in the past not to be trapped in the past but the most important thing to learn is that depression anxiety these things these problems they don't go away on their own, you have to do things to make them go away. If you if you sit around waiting for things to change, more often than not they won't. Right? If you want a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you have to go out and find them. If you want friends, you have to go out and find them. They're not going to come and find you, despite how much we may want them to. If you want that job to have, if you want to have that, that excellent job that you want, you've got to go and find it. You've got to put in the effort. If you don't like how you are, you have to you have to go through and make the changes. Be it changing your perspective so that things that you don't like are no longer a problem. 
or changing the aspects about you that you don't like. Like for example, do you feel you're overweight? Well, you can do something about that. That you can change your diet, you can exercise. If you feel that, you, uh, that you're too angry, there are things you can do about that. There are people you can speak to. There are professionals you can speak to. There are programs you can do. Right? If you feel like you don't have any confidence in yourself, if you have social anxiety, those are things that you can overcome, but you have to put in the effort to overcome them. No one's going to do it for you. And despite what people, despite how difficult that is, no one's going to do it for you. You have to put in the effort. This is something I learned myself this year, but this is also something very important. This I did this this year. It's not gonna it's not gonna be as easy for other people, or it's not gonna be as hard for other people. It's different for everybody. But you still have to stick to your guns. You still have to put in the effort. You still have to have that end goal in mind. And above all else, you have to keep doing it. Like if you want, if you want to succeed in that diet, you have to stick to it. And progress can be slow. It can feel like some days that nothing's, nothing's happening. Like some days I felt like that. Some days I still had breakdowns. But you have to keep pushing forwards with the plan. And if the plan isn't working, then adjust the plan so that it does work. If that therapist isn't working out, seek another one. If that diet isn't working out seek another one but by that token you have to give these things time to work changes won't happen overnight they can sometimes take weeks and months maybe even years in some cases and for, the, for those of you watching this who are unsure what to do get in touch with me get in touch with me over Twitter right let me know what let me know what's going on maybe I can give you uh, give you some pointers or an idea of what direction to go in. I'm not going to say that I can solve your problems. I can't solve your problems. You have to do that yourself. But I might be able to give you advice and guidance on how to solve those problems. Because at the end of the day, even if I could solve your problems, I wouldn't. And the reason for that is, is that I'm not here to solve people's problems. But I do feel that I can guide people to solve their problems so that they can gain the confidence and strength to continue to solve their problems. Because one day I'm not going to be here. But if you have the strength, the wisdom and the knowledge passed on from other people, from the therapists, from the programs, from the things that you read, from the experiences that you gain, you can become stronger and you can pass those on to other people. And that's the, cir the circle of growth, improvement and regrowth continues. When it boils down to it, you make life what you want it to be. No one else can make it for you, despite certain circumstances. Um, life is what you make it. Life becomes what you make it. If you allow yourself to be consumed by depression, by sorrow, then your life will be depression and sorrow. Yes, it is painful. Yes, it is hard. I'm not saying it's easy. But then again, many things in life aren't easy. You still, we still have to continue pushing forwards. My advice for you though, especially with depression, set yourself goals. Set yourself little challenges and complete them. For example, for me, try a new food each week. Yes, it's a, it's a relatively non-thing for a lot of people. For me, it's a big thing. And you don't have to compare your life to other people. Compare your achievements to other people. Set yourself achievements and then achieve them. And then reward yourself, praise yourself. You'll get confidence that way. I think I've wandered on to numerous different topics at this point, but the general premise is, is that I started out this year with insecurity, depression, anxiety, and a sense of, I'm going nowhere. But when I entered this year, I decided for myself that I would take back control. And through hard work, uh, through hard work and effort, I managed to find what I needed. I progressed forwards. 
I maintained the effort and I was able to successfully do the things I set out to do. I gained the things that I needed and I was able to move forwards and you can do that too. If you're suffering, you can do that too. Although I must say I do feel rather empty now because I set these goals and now I'm not sure what to do next. <laughs> I know one thing I'll be doing next, I'll be continuing to work for the Tats team. Tats is one of one of my closest friends, as well as uh, Clown Prince of Crime. And I owe them pretty much my life. Like everything I've become now is thanks in about seventy percent about well about sixty percent because of them. And I am eternally grateful to Tats and the team that she manages. Thank you so much. And thank you so much everybody who has been there for me. Who has heard my ranting, heard my rambling, has come, has reached out to me when I needed someone to, uh, to reach out to, has given me advice when I needed advice. But most of all, thank you for being yourself because there is nothing greater in this world than being yourself, being awesome. Thank, uh, thank you guys for listening to my ramblings. There will be more behind the scenes um, when the new year kicks off. And I may even do some more streams because um, I did a, a practice stream this year. And that was one thing I did that I've been meaning to do for a long time, but I never had the confidence to do it. But I found out that I could do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my ramblings. Um, assuming I did upload this, there's every possibility that I won't upload it. But, above all else, think about what you've done this year. Think about where you want to be at the end of 2020, and what you can do to make that happen. I'm not talking about bullshit New Year's resolutions, I'm talking about making life how you want it. Have a good, have a good think about what you want for your life and then make it happen. Take care of yourself folks, and remember, be yourself, be awesome. Take care guys, bye bye.